So, hands up, who likes free stuff? Okay, enough frivolity. Head over to my Buy Me A Coffee page. Under the Extras tab, you will find the Titles in Effects folder pack. Download it and extract it. You will end up with this DRFX file. How do we get that into Resolve? Quite simply, go into the Fusion tab, bring up your Finder, Windows Explorer, whatever, and simply drag DRFX file onto the node tree. You'll get this message, do you want to install? Click yes, and you're done. Now, if you come up to the templates, if you make sure your effects library is turned on, come up to templates, edit, and then effects. If you drop the little down arrow, you'll see this folder's appeared. If you're on 17.4, if you're not on 17.4, then you'll be at this stage and somewhere in here, you will see the titles. Uh, bah, bah, bah. He says confidently. I've got so much stuff in here. Oh, maybe you don't. Ooh. So I think probably because mine are in this folder, they don't show up. But if you don't have 17.4, they won't be in a folder and they'll be in your effects um, section, for want of a better word. If you do have 17.4, they'll be in this nice handy folder called SS Titles. Click it and you've got your uh, titles in effects set uh, settings files ready. You wouldn't normally be using them in Fusion. Hopefully, if you go back to the Edit tab, again, make sure your effects library is turned on. Come to Toolbox, Effects, and again, you've got the same folder, and your titles are here. If for some reason they're not there, restart Resolve, and they should appear. So that's that. Usage is really straightforward. Um, grab your clip. Decide where you want your title to be, make a cut. I'm using Control and B or Command and B to make the cut. Go to where you want your title to end, make a cut. And basically you're just going to drop the title onto this clip here. So if we go with the colour box, drop it on and you're done. And that's all there is to it. They're really easy to use, really straightforward. Each will cache as you're using it. Obviously give it a couple of seconds to sort of cache properly and then it'll run smoothly for you, like so. Each has its own set of um, controls. So make sure you play it over the clip with your effect on. Come to the inspector. If your inspector's not open, just click on inspector at the top here. Click on effects. And then you've got the various settings that can be changed. And obviously this is going to vary from title to title. So you can change your text, your font, um, text color in this case. So the text color can be changed in two different ways. You can use this one to pick a particular color, or you can go to this one, drop the down arrow, and you've got your usual sort of color picker thing going on. You can change the hue or the color of the tint and as you change the color of this tint the color of your border will change because that's an inverse of whatever color is here uh, so yeah that's that one if you want to get rid of it come to the top of your effects and just hit the bin and it gets rid of it to bring in a different one your glass text again if you come to the effects it's got its own set of settings so you can change all the usual good stuff and 
and so you go. Hope you enjoy them. They're just something that I sort of made pretty much because I was experimenting uh, to try and get the effects to work and I thought you might like them. The box blur, if you're interested, the box blur, the glass text and the video in text all have tutorials on how to make them yourself. Uh, the invert text and the colour box are just a couple of extras that I've made and I've stuck in the pack. So yeah, they're available from my Buy Me A Coffee page for free. If you want to buy me a coffee or two, that would be greatly appreciated. Cool. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel, like and hit the notification bell. And I will catch you on the next one.